dear students welcome to my channel chemistry with chemist today here i've come up with my new video where i'll be teaching you about symbols and valency and you will learn a technique to write the chemical formula within seconds so to understand this to learn symbol and valency i request you to be with me to watch my channel till the end okay let's start with the first topic that is symbol right now what is symbol symbol is the short form or abbreviation of an element like your name is sonam okay got it now as an abbreviation sometimes your parents may call you sonu so this sonu is your abbreviation am i clear so something like that symbol is an abbreviation of an element now here we will not use this kind of long abbreviation rather it will be one letter or maximum it will consist of two letters is that clear now let's see some of the symbols or let's see what are the ways that you can find symbol okay now the primitive days like in the old days like what what used to happen was like the very few elements were discovered like some of the examples you can see here like hydrogen is there carbon oxygen so these are some of the like elements common elements which were discovered during old times so that what dalton did was he used this kind of symbols to denote them am i clear this was the most easy way or the symbols which was used for all these elements which were discovered in the early days now the problem comes with passage of time what has happened is like more and more elements were discovered am i clear to you so when and more more and more elements were discovered what will happen is those symbols like this sort of symbols will not be helpful because it will be difficult for us to remember the symbol itself okay so what the technique was applied was see in modern days what the technique was applied is that the symbol will be or comprising of the first like suppose i have got hydrogen so now the symbol was taken from the first alphabet here okay that is h so you can see here h am i clear now after hydrogen so let me take in the more example now see after hydrogen see hydrogen is taken with h now after hydrogen you have helium now helium also comes with h e l i u m helium got it now if i take h then it will be confusing with hydrogen am i clear so what i have to do i have to think of some alternative so while thinking of that alternative the alternative is c h e got it so in this way we have h e here now in that same way lithium we have taken as l i b e boron as b so in this way taking the first and the second alphabet in some of the cases taking only the first and in some of the cases taking first and second alphabet the symbols were defined for the elements in the periodic table now what are the things that i have to focus here the things that you have to focus is that the first letter or alphabet will be capital letter okay or the upper case and it will the second will be the small letter or the lower case this is the very important factor we never write like silicon in this way this is a wrong way of writing the symbol of the elements i hope i am clear to all of you now here one question arises that <coughs> if you look at sodium the if you look at sodium it should be s o you may be thinking but the symbol of sodium is any or if you look at potassium the symbol should be p o or p but it is k y this symbols actually n a potassium they are taken from the latin name so it is not only related to their modern names the symbol has been taken in the periodic table from the latin names okay so if you look at sodium it is natrium any that's why the first two any okay if you look at potassium it is helium that's why k okay in the same way if you look at gold it's not g it is a u why because it has come from or so in this way some of the symbols are derived from latin names and some of the symbols are derived from their english names clear okay so let's move on to the next part now what is valency valency is the combining capacity of an element what does this combining capacity mean it is very simple now combining capacity means if i have to explain you and in my words it will be something like becoming 
stable okay so when you become stable or to become stable okay how many electrons you accept how many electrons you donate this is valency for me okay so the process of becoming stable you sometimes accept electron you sometimes donate electron and the number of electrons which you accept or donate this is known as valency okay now i'll give you more examples on this like see like if you look at sodium then the atomic number of sodium is 2 8 and 1 okay now first of all you remember one thing that is what is stable what is stable element stable element means you have either duplet or octet duplet it is only possible for two hydrogen okay only possible for hydrogen two or eight configuration in the outermost cell so this is known as duplet this is known as octet now in most of the cases we try to fulfill this octet now come to sodium see look at the configuration 281 am i clear now if you look at this configuration 2, 8 and 1, see there is one electron in the outermost cell. Got it? Now is this stable? Definitely no. Then what I have to do? I have to do something that this 1 becomes 8. That means you have to accept 7. Okay? Or I can do something that this 1 is only donated. Okay? So it is lost. That means this is no more now. What is the configuration? 2, 8. Stable configuration. Am I clear? Now you tell me. Which one is easy? Which one is easy, students? Tell me. I'll just erase it to make it more clear to you. Okay. Now you tell me, students, which one is easy for you? To accept 7 or to lose 1? Then definitely lose 1. That means sodium will donate 1 electron and become Na+. Plus. What is the configuration? 2, 8. Stable configuration. Okay what is this electron this electron is the combining capacity or this electron is nothing but the valency that means to become stable the number of electron which you donate that is valency am i clear let me take one more example here I'll just it is this so that it will be easy for me as well as you to understand now see come to one more example i'll draw it here that is chlorine look at the configuration 2 8 and 7 okay now look at the outermost cell how many electrons are there seven electrons got it now which one is easy for chlorine to donate seven and remove this or you accept one and make it eight yes think the simple answer is you will accept one electron and make it eight got it that means chlorine will accept one electron and become cl minus and what is this electron it is a combining capacity what is this this is nothing but the valency so in a very simple word i will tell valency is how many electrons you give to become stable or how many electrons you accept to become stable am i clear let me further explain you taking this periodic table example come here see if you look at this group 1a element then all this element has one electron in the outermost cell okay in the same way here all the elements have two electrons three four five six seven and eight electron in the outermost cell okay now here it is one now in case of hydrogen to complete octet okay to complete octet see in case of this group 1a elements okay let's not consider hydrogen for the timing like for lithium sodium potassium to complete octet you need seven more electrons or in order to become stable they can donate this one electron now which one is easy to donate one electron hence group one element has valency one come to group two elements you have two electron in the outermost cell which one is easy to accept six why six because six plus two is eight to accept six or to donate this two then donate two okay in the same way there is three electron here so which one is easy to donate three here there are four electrons so which one is easy you can do both so i'll keep it four here now come to this nitrogen five electrons in the outermost cell so either you have to donate five or you have to accept three which one is easy yes definitely accepting three the valence is three 
in this case outermost electron has six electron so which one is easy to donate six or accept two accept two here in this case you'll accept one come to this part they have eight electrons in the outermost cell which one is easy to accept eight or to donate it it will not do anything okay that's why the valence is zero because it is already stable so in this way if you consider a periodic table the valency varies in this way one two three four three two one zero so you can remember this in a very very simple way students okay now the last part of my talk chapter in this video that i'll discuss is how to write a chemical formula okay so in order to write a chemical formula two important factors are there that is the correct knowledge of valency which we have discussed already and next is the crisscross method so let's see in details with examples what or how to write okay now i have given a table here so i request you to take a screen shot of this and you can copy this later at home okay so that you can remember the important valencies of the negative and positive ions because if you do not remember this valency it will be quite impossible for you to write the chemical formula so to write chemical formula remembering all these valencies are quite important okay now let me show you an example okay come to sodium chloride see it is explained here so the valency of sodium is one just now i have said you okay the valency of chlorine is one i have said you what we'll do is we'll crisscross this so what you are getting na1 cl1 but one one we do not write so the formula becomes nacl got it students okay so let's move on potassium sulfate okay so you should be you know that potassium is valency one so plus and sulfate so4 2 minus so how to know sulfate is so4 2 minus you have to remember this table so if we check here sulfate okay sulfate so4 2 minus okay so sulfate is so4 2 minus now see this will come here two will come here and plus one is here so this will go down there so you will get k2 so4 whole one okay now four into one it is one four only sorry so the formula will be k2 so4 am i clear okay so here i have given you a question around five questions are here which where you have to write the chemical formula okay students so you can take a screenshot of this and you can try practicing to write chemical formula at home okay dear students and please comment me in my video if you are not able to understand i will make sure i'll come up with a solution afterwards but one question i would like to solve it for you so that it will be easy okay to understand that is one question i'll solve it let me solve ammonium sulfate okay so ammonium sulfate ammonium is nh4 plus done i have written sulfate so4 2 minus now what is the next step you have to crisscross now some of you may think oh there is all four there is four sir may i cancel like this no when you are cancelling you should never cancel okay you should never cancel from here okay you should never cancel from here you are not going to cancel from if you have to cancel then the cancelling part is to be done here okay so two will come here and plus one will go there the, the formula will be nh4 whole to so4 whole one dot it and to this one only to write so the actual formula will be nh4 whole to so4 got it so in this way what we can do is we can write the formula i hope i am all clear to you so in the same way i request all of you to solve the remaining four questions and comment me in my video below okay students thank you for watching my channel chemistry with chemist okay i request all of you to please subscribe my channel so that you get updated with all my latest videos based on chemistry thank you